Right, hi everybody. Um, today I had a post ready, well not ready, but I had some pictures taken because I've been putting more pages together for the little books. And it occurred to me that you're probably sick of seeing them on their own, maybe. But I just thought what I would do, I've added things um, yesterday, just did a couple French knots down there. And here, a little bit of gimp at the bottom and some of my original doodle in there. And then over here is a tiny bit of paperwork that's attached to the page with some French knots. On the back, you can see um, behind there where the stitching is. So I wanted to do a few more French knots along the edge of that, but I'm just actually thinking that I probably can't because it'd infringe on that, um, which is a shame. But maybe, oh, well that's scuppered everything actually, because that's what I was going to do there, do some French knots along the edge of that, but I hadn't realised because there'll be sticky stuff behind there and I don't want to put my needle through sticky stuff but then again there's no sticky stuff over here so I could do a couple of French knots over there but what I wanted to say was just to say I've got three of these put together now now two of them are spoken for um, and I don't really want to be just putting one in the shop and then waiting two weeks and putting another two in or whatever I'd rather just get them all finished and do it like that but it was more of a a chance for me perhaps to just show you what it involves and you might not think when you look at them oh well there, there's not much in there but it does take quite a, um, a surprising amount of time to put these together so let's just say this is one of them so obviously this has to be attached and then each page has got something going on whether it's embroidery or an image or some plain paper for you to doodle on um, or a little bit of artwork loosely called artwork embroidery with an overlay some painted paper that i've painted you can feel the texture of that another little image of my work another little bit of embroidery so if you kind of put it all together and think about it more paper more embroidery more paint that i've painted more embroidery it does take quite some time to put one of these together so <coughs> excuse me this is um you know you get cards and uh, department stores with squirt perfume on them if you smell the perfume well that's a card that didn't have any perfume on it I just took a few from one department store and I just cut it up that's what that is and then here the knots at the back from the stitching on the front so you know it does take quite a bit of time to put them together so and the reason I'm saying that is because if you think is she still doing them books is it still books is it still pages um, can she not get a move on? Well, it's not as quick to do as you might imagine. So what I'm doing now is just looking for a sharp needle and I just want to do a couple of French knots into that white thing there. That piece of white paperwork. But I won't, I avoid at all costs and at any time putting my needle and thread through sticky tape or anything, uh, double sided tape or anything like that. So that's why I've changed my mind about doing it along there so I'll do it here just do a couple of random ones now this is going to be visible on this page but that's not something that concerns me about these books either I like it because it's evidence evidence of the hand you know what I mean of the human touch that it's not mass produced or whatever won't have them in a line, I'll just do them randomly within the textured area of this paper. I'm trying not to give too much away because I uh, do a lot of this kind of stuff in my classes. So, and then I'll do another one up here. And then, do you know what? I might want to go right back down the bottom and do another. But I'll do one here. So even though this page has got something on it, in terms of a little mini piece of uh, paperwork, it's getting further embellished now with these French knots, which I think is a good thing. So there. Uh, now you know me, don't like odd numbers, sorry, even numbers, and I've got four on there, so I want another one. So I want to put my other one down here. But I'm not going to take my thread all the way down the back, I'm going to knot it off. 
cut it off and do it again and then that will be the end of this video your suffering will be over and i will stop talking but really it was just to touch base and to clarify what's going on with these books and why it seems to be that they're always it's always about these books you know what i mean and because i don't want to spend three days doing nothing but these books I've got other stuff I want to do as well, so I'm kind of like fitting them in uh, here and there. And I think I do my best work that way. I don't want to get overwhelmed with page making. Um, I still want each book to be as fresh as the next one. I don't want to get stale and start repeating myself and, you know, being predictable with them. So there's that one that makes the numbers odd, which makes me happy. Fasten that off. There, cut that off. Like that. And sew that. So French knots now. Down that side. Down no, well they're already down there, down there, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So I hope that give you a bit of clarity about those and um, so next time you see them you won't think oh she's still banging on about them books well you might think that but at least you'll have a bit of the background information there as to why you might still see them for a few weeks to come okay <laughs>